I didn't know what their dynamic fully was. I just knew, hey, I like both of them. This is my longtime friend I've known for 14 years. So if so I would have met him when you moved in, I just met him when I moved in. Tell history. me what he exactly said when he apologized. But remembering, he said he said something about like that was my intention. You know, I'm sorry. You know, if I hurt you in a way, and something like that. Okay. And and on that note, I'd like to add, Your Honor. I never came out to him. Everything he said in that regard is perjury, straight up. I never came out to him. None of this actually goes to the heart of what you guys are here for, I but, I, right. but I have an issue with credibility on the part of both of you. So I'm trying to see who is being honest here today. So Mr. Smith. Yes, Your Honor. Tell me why you don't believe you owe rent for those last 13 months. Your Honor, we never signed an agreement. I did a lot for him, for the house, for the space, and that's obviously not the best exchange for money. But I've always asked for agreement. I wanted to work with him because I knew what the situation that he was in in the house. It's just heartbreaking to be emotionally connected with someone that you trusted, that you've been friends with. I understand for so long. that, but that's what you get when you have a relationship with a roommate. Totally. And right. I learned from my lesson. I think I have what I need. Okay. I have nothing for you. I don't either. Yeah. Okay, we're going to excuse both of you. Thank you very much. This courtroom is now in recess. We'll have you on in many ways, I'm, I'm somewhat astonished about the story and the credibility of the overall story. The plaintiff brought up this encounter. Right. And his explanation for his not asking the defendant to leave after it, I can understand why perhaps he did it. But in terms of our determination of whether or not the defendant owes him rent, I think that this document that he gave us clearly indicates the plaintiff's understanding, and it was for the benefit of the defendant. He doesn't deny that. He may claim he never received it, but that's irrelevant. He acknowledges the existence of an obligation to pay rent. I think he's therefore liable for the rent. Was this during the period, because I know the plaintiff said that he was going to give the defendant a year to find a job. Was he still going to tally up the rent that he owed in the in-between time, or was there just like... I have... I'm trying to decide whether he put a pause or he just said, you could forget about rent right now. I think his testimony was not that I'm excusing you from rent. I think it was, I'll work with you. And hopefully when you get on your feet, you'll be able to repay me. I think at the end of the day, he was supposed to continue paying the $500 in rent and that their relationship may have caused the plaintiff to delay rent payments a little but not to flat out excuse them for a year. That wouldn't make a okay. lot of sense right. to me. So, do we have a verdict? Yeah. Do we yeah. have a verdict? So, 5000 Yeah. All right. Good. We have a verdict.